Hi, my name is Debbie, and my position here at the Tide Dyed Iguana is birthday parties and educational demos. In the past, you would see me here every weekend on Saturdays and Sundays, hanging with kids and teaching them about reptiles. It's a hands-on experience, but now I am still here on Friday evenings doing birthday parties, but I am going to be very busy with schools and summer camps and uh, doing educational road shows. So the permanent residents here at the Tide at Iguana, uh, they get to come with me and do shows away from location. That is an interesting question, and it's um, maybe four or five years, forgive me for not knowing exactly how long. Backstory is whenever this room was created, uh, years and years ago, Matt reached out to me and asked if I would do some mural work. So I would come here and I would be working on the mural, and sometime in that time frame, I became a team member. Well, then time passed, I got married, had a kid, and I was no longer working at the shop. Well, the shop expanded and he reached back out to me. So years ago, again, it's probably four or five years, uh, they expanded the birthday party room. So we have so much more space in here. And again, I was just painting and working on the mural and then I became part of the team again. So here I am. Well, this past winter, uh, my husband and I finally, finally after years of trying, got a dog. <laughs> we already had a child, we already had a child, but he um, was never the dog person or the pet person, really. But I think it boiled down to, I just told him for our daughter's 10th birthday, I was going to get her a snake or a crested gecko. And then he immediately said, I'd rather get a dog than a reptile again. So I took him up on it. And we uh, have a Boston Terrier named Beans. And I also have a, a variety of tarantulas still at the house. At one point, I was up to 27, which is uh, a little crazy. I got carried away there for a second. But um, after time, a lot of the males have matured and sadly passed away, or some of them I lost to um, being stuck in their molt when they were itty bitty. So I have a handful of them left, especially my big one. My largest tarantula is about yay, about yay big. So her name is Pearl. I have uh, some brachypalmas. I have some um, it's a, a Lassiodora parahibana. Well. A salmon pink bird eater, a Mexican red knee. I have a Arizona blonde. I still have another Carabina versicolor, which is another male, unfortunately. I think I still have, yes, it's, it was a rose hair <laughs> tarantula. It's still itty, itty bitty. They grow so slow. I have a, a bunch of duplicates. Oh, I have a Brazilian uh, red and white as well. Who is this little guy? <laughs> this is beans. So how old is Beans? Beans is about seven months old. So he's still full of puppy energy and uh, he's pretty excited because he's never been up to the shop before. So there's lots to see and uh, lots to sniff around. So he already, uh, he already was introduced to baby bearded dragons today and that got him really excited. <laughs> Can you show Heather your fancy bow tie? Good boy. Sit. Can you give me, oh, you want to do, which paw do you want to do? Left paw. No, that's your right paw. He doesn't. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite reptile. Uh, that's so hard whenever I work with them all the time and I call them my coworkers, but I feel like it's saying like you have one favorite child over the other one. But I really, really do like crested geckos. I have a soft spot for those. As far as here at the shop, I think it would have to be Hercules. Because every, everybody loves Hercules. Hercules is our, I still call him a baby, he is our young Burmese python that we use for educational shows and birthday parties. 
My hobbies have changed over the years. I used to always be doing some type of artwork, something artsy, craftsy, but pretty much now all I do is cook and eat what I cook. But I really do enjoy cooking. Not so much baking. I am not the best baker, but I like, I like cooking. My favorite part is it's always, I guess it's always different for me, like where I, where I go, the kids that I encounter and get to teach about the reptiles. There's, there's always something fun going on around here. And it's kind of nice to be like a little bit more behind the scenes than out on the sales floor. But I think I have the fun job. It probably would have to either do, I'm just thinking of Matt and his toys and you never know what he's gonna show up to the shop with. Like the one day he comes in with the megaphone and he's in everybody's face, but probably throwing a firecracker over the, <laughs> over the break room wall and it like exploded near Sean. I think that was pretty funny. One of those little snappers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many, I don't know. I don't leave this place without like cracking up. Like busting a gut laughing. There's always something. I am adopted. When I was three days old, I was adopted. So I think that's pretty awesome. Years ago, I traveled to Iceland. I, I do like to travel, I guess. I would say that that's one of my hobbies to back that up to that other question. But traveling, especially now, is extremely, extremely expensive. But it was pretty cool. Whenever uh, me and four other of my friends, we spent 11 days in Iceland and we traveled the entire country. I'd go back in a heartbeat. I like the temperature there. Not so much here. 